This is Arne Holcomb with your News in 90. The Department of Transportation is creating a new way to help drivers and first responders get traffic updates faster. The ITS message board system is meant to warn drivers and first responders about upcoming traffic concerns on I-75. The boards will cost $12 million and the electronic billboards will stretch from the Archer Road exit in Gainesville all the way to the Florida Georgia line. New cameras on I-75 every half mile through Gainesville will help officials responding to traffic congestion faster. Information from the cameras will be put on the message boards for drivers to see. More than 100 UF students are heading to Washington, D.C. to take part in the March for Our Lives rally this weekend. Former Stoneman Douglas High School students spent their Thursday giving out t-shirts in Turlington Plaza and finalizing details of the trip. Shortly after midnight, two buses are leaving for the nation's capital. One student, Victoria Triu, is excited about the chance to march, saying, quote, we're going to be the voices and our voices are going to be heard. 17 students and teachers died at Stoneman Douglas when a former student opened fire inside the school in mid-February. Protests disrupted various locations in Paris as citizens speak out against a government proposal. Thousands of nurses, teachers, and other sector workers marched against government-initiated economic reform. Protesters not only want better wages, but they're also against the possible elimination of 120,000 jobs by 2022. Although most protesters were peaceful, others were not, throwing tear gas and water cannons at police. That's your news in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.